And how you guys doing? You know, most people know I'm a real hermaphrodite. It's documented. It's been documented my whole life. It's been documented since I was born. So in reference to any legal, illegal violations of government of searching or strip searching or touching me is lawsuits and prosecution against them. It's been on treasury records my whole life. So in reference to any illegal search and seizure or illegal confiscation or people trying to steal teeth or people trying to steal the pieces of raw oil drilling bits, those people can get the death penalty or life in prison. Or in reference to anybody that's trying to steal diamonds from my body, those people can get the death penalty too. Or life in prison. And the diamonds that they stole have to be recovered. So in reference to, and if anybody stole any penis size, they have to get prosecuted. Or anybody stealing any blood or genetics or anything. So, you know, in reference to uh, Hollywood or celebrity history, obviously they haven't mentioned what girls I've played in movies, meaning like what roles I've played in movies as a female. Obviously some people need to get fired from Hollywood, don't they? And they haven't mentioned any movie roles or TV roles that I have played in or any songs that I've sang. So the office that's supposed to uh, to document and to affirm and make sure things are advertised appropriately in reference to who I am and who my parents are and what my career has been in Hollywood and in the media and in business, and in magazines, magazine articles, or newspapers, or whatever. Obviously, there's some people not doing their job. So, obviously, there's some people that need to get fired in the media. Or maybe there's the people at the Screen Actors Union that's not advertising it. I don't know. But either way, it's violations. Roll protocols in the media 24 hours a day. It's documentation of my identity and who I am and who my parents are. And a satellite man is still hitting me in the teeth. Why are you hitting me in the teeth, satellite man? And the satellite man is still centerfolding on me and smashing down on me. And they've caused damage here. They were bending my jaw earlier. I mean, they're hitting me there now, but... We need them to explain what they were doing. That's illegal search. What you looking at my face for? Are we looking at my teeth for? What race and religion are you? What you trying to do, government man? We need you to explain it. And it won't be good enough, no matter what. And don't forget, I had been injured, and I was in a coma when I was little. Reverence to these thieves trying to steal from my parents. And don't forget, these thieves, most of them was foreigners. You understand that? They weren't American citizens, most of these people. But then these foreigners came into America and hired American government thieves and murderers and rapists that had conspired with foreign countries to try to steal from me or my parents. Back in the day, they tried to steal. Like, for instance, uh, people blocking me from accounts that my parents had for me at the Screen Actors Union or the Screen Actors Credit Union Bank or whatever. Where's that information? People that are blocking me from offices at my mother and father's companies or... I mean, you know who those people are. This is one of those things, if, if everybody did not follow the correct procedures of stopping them from holding me hostage, stopping them from blocking me from my mother and father's mansions, satellite man's messing with my legs. That's why I shake my legs. But I have legal right to shake my legs whenever I fucking want to. But anyways, or tapping my leg, or, you know, tapping my foot, or whatever. I'm a dancer, too, anyways. And uh, so, you know, in reference to the government, so if you see the phone shake, I'm shaking my leg, you know. Because they're hurting my foot on the right-hand side. Uh, the activity of government man and his people and their tricks and the procedures of corporate attorneys or business attorneys or university attorneys and the education and history and this government man that has damaged my teeth 
we need that man to explain why. If that man does not explain, the man can face the death penalty. It does not have any health benefits to it for you to be damaging my teeth. I'm not your race. I'm not your religion. I'm not your property. And I don't owe you nothing, dirty government man. Do you understand that? And, you know, I was supposed to be at my mother and father's mansions. No, I didn't receive any letters from any of the maids or butlers from any of the properties that, if there was anybody there anymore, I don't know. Hopefully everybody's doing all right. But if anybody sent any letters, did not receive it. They're still holding me hostage in Indianapolis with satellites. They're still blocking me from the accounts. They're still blocking me from traveling. I'm supposed to have royal ambassador traveling papers too. It's pretty serious, but you don't have any information. So the government man that tries to say stupid shit slandering my character needs to shut the fuck up. And they need to put gag orders on that man for slandering my character and stealing my postal mail and stealing information. And then the man tried to assume my identity. The man faces the death penalty for trying to steal everything from me.